Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, it's Binks here with another quick video. I'm actually filming this kind of late, um, so I'm gonna probably just speed through a lot of this really quick. I got a bunch of mail with a bunch of Pokemon cards in it, so I'm gonna go over some of the stuff I've been picking up. Uh, a lot of this is uh, eBay, pretty much like my standard videos, eBay pickups, Facebook group pickups, yada yada, you get it by now. So the first package here, the first envelope, has a hollow needle queen and a hollow Jolteon. These are the last two hollows that I needed for my jungle set, for some reason didn't ever have them. So now I have them. And I can finally finish out those sets. And I've actually recently just bought some really nice binders to store everything in. It's, these are played, obviously. But for binder cards, like I've said in the past, they do their job. And uh, of course, I'm using my KMC Perfect Fits. I don't have the. This one looks a little bit better, but still the hollow is pretty, pretty scratched. Oh, the back looks alright. But just going in the binder for me to look at and you know, turn the pages and admire all my hard work I've collected. Okay, next envelope. So I've, I've gone through a lot of these already, typically how, how things go. We've got a Dark Caesar from Neo Destiny. This is probably my favorite set. Outside of base set, obviously. So. And with my big purchase video that I had last time, um, I got most of the Neo Destiny hollows. And this is this one and two, I think two or three others I'm missing still. But one less now. I picked this guy up. I already put him in, in a new sleeve and top of it just because it, it came in a... Yeah, not worth explaining. I already put it in one. Next card. A lot of these are just to fill out my sets here. We've got a Rocket Sneak Attack Hollow from Team Rocket Set. Just like the, the, jungle, the jungle cards over here. These are just to fill out my binders and uh, get the next envelope. Okay, we have a dark wheezing again from Team Rocket. And same story as the other cards. I'm just filling out these sets, guys. A lot of these cards are just a couple dollars each, so I just kind of went on eBay after I put together my binders that I just bought and you went easily seeing the holes that I had I use that poke collector app and it lets you easily see which cards you're missing so I went on eBay and I was like pop 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 just buying buying all these hollows and random cards that I'm missing from these sets next envelope We've got a Dark Slowbro. Hollow. I love this. Look at that card. You see the Team Rocket guy in the background? And that green hollow foil. It's got that nice swirl. Right by Slowbro's ass. <laughs> That's, I'm just kidding. I mean, there's a, there is a swirl there, but. Oh, man. It's embarrassing. That's why I hate when people tape. Tape the top of these top loaders. It drives me nuts. But I get it. You don't want it to fall out whenever you're shipping it. But whatever. That's a beautiful card. And it's scratched. You can see. Well, maybe that's just the, the sleeve. Let's check. No, it's got a pretty gnarly scratch right there. But, whatever. It's just going to be a binder card. 
so we'll throw it in a nice new sleeve. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I put them in these KMCs, I feel like they make the cards look in better condition. Maybe not in the light like that, but well, it sets you next to Weezing, and that's another Rocket Team Rocket set card. If I didn't already say that, sorry if I did. Ignore it if I said it twice. Next card, this one was taped in there, it looks like, which is good. I really hope that three isn't on the dang card. I doubt it is. Dark Arbok, another. Oh man, look at that. That one's got the, a badass swirl too. I love, that's something that people really, is that a hollow bleed? That just looks like a crazy amount of hollow foil in there. Maybe not, that's just, that Arbok looks amazing. I've always loved this artwork. It just looks really good. Again, struggling with the tape here. Bear with me, guys. Oh boy. Let me keep my, my knife nearby so I can come just slice these. And, uh, there we go. They're struggling with that. Check out this Arbok. Uh, looks pretty good. I'd say it's near mint. Look at that hollow. There's all, I think there's two swirls. There's an, I think there's another one here. Maybe. I don't know. And no, the three was not written on the card. <laughs> I knew it wasn't, but. All right, I cannot wait to put these in a binder. Some, there's something so satisfying about just sticking a card into its empty spot in the binder. Um, okay, so these last few cards are pretty special. This one is a Japan purchase. And it was for a base set Japanese coffin. Just kidding. It was for the oh my god look at that freaking Mew this is for a Coral Coral Shining Mew it's from Neo Destiny this is only released in Jap Japanese look the whole card has the, the hollow on it I, just, I love ordering stuff from Japan because people not, they not only package it well they're so thoughtful like they put the pull tab on here so I can pull it out it's awesome. But look at this card. This is one of my favorite cards of all time. Look at that. The back, it just looks uh, real nice. Really, really nice. God, I love that card. It's got swirls, it's got everything in it. Man. So happy with that. And I got it for a pretty good deal. Ordering from Japan, of course, they have a million, a million of them. Because that was that's an ex the Coral Coral is a comic uh, magazine, I think, over there. So it's only Japanese release as well. So and they sent me this um, cool poster thing from some uh, Pokemon movie coming out over there, or did come out in twenty eighteen. I don't know. That was cool. And the next card, this is a very expensive card. Um, coughing. No, just, <laughs> just kidding. Excuse my lame jokes, guys. This is a very rare card and a very expensive card. And it's not very, um, it's not very flashy either. But after I explain what it is, maybe you'll, maybe you'll understand. This is one of the two Wizards of the Coast Black Star promo sets um, cards that I was missing from my collection. Um, in my that video, I kind of outline 
those cards and this is called Pokemon Center. It was released with uh, for the New York physical Pokemon Center store that they have in New York. Uh, this was a in-store release only and therefore that makes it pretty rare and pretty expensive. I think I paid, I got this for $130. Which is like, why the heck are you paying that for non hollow rare car? Blah 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 blah. Well, I wanted to complete my set. And I actually have the other one on the way as well. That being the. Oh, it's double sleeved. Nice. I was worried for a second. So that was really hard to get out of there. And it's already in a KMC. Perfect fit. Perfect. And it looks really nice. I'm going to put this back in here just because this is a very expensive card for something that's non hollow. But this is really cool, guys. I really like this card. And it's one step closer to completing that full uh, set of promos for Wizards of the Coast. Okay. I think. Yeah, this is my last package. And if you can tell by that writing, oh great, I just put my freaking address on here. Don't, don't come to my house. <laughs> this is another purchase from Japan for arguably some of the coolest modern Pokemon cards that are currently out. And I pulled them out and put them in the top loaders already. They're not the best top loaders, but I'll, these are going in a binder, and until I get them graded, I'm going to have all five of these cards graded. New back Japanese. Let's just show them to you. These are the Munch Scream promos, straight from Japan. There's a exhibit for the paint, the screen painting in, in Japan. And to celebrate that exhibit, Pokemon collaborated and made these Scream promos. So you see in the back of this Psyduck here, he's got Haunter and Gengar kind of scaring him, and that's why he's screaming in this one. And then next we have Eevee. But if you'll notice, behind Eevee is the Psyduck that was... Screaming in the last picture, in the last card. Continuing on with that, we have the Pikachu with the Eevee behind him. And up next is the rarest and most expensive card of the five, Mimikyu, with Pikachu behind him as well. This card just keeps going up, I don't... I'm glad I got it when I did because I think in the next few years this is just going to be astronomical. And also, before I get to the last card, the Mimikyu itself actually, just the nature of how you had to get it, you can only get one at a time and it was kind of a random shoe if you got the Mimikyu actually. But they were coming damaged too. And I've already pulled this out and inspected it. It is, it's literally pristine. So... I think I'm definitely going to get it graded. Uh, PSA 10 of this is already selling for like $500. And uh, in the next few years, just because there's, it's relatively limited and this one being so rare, I think this is going to be a really good card to have uh, long term. Not to mention, they're, they're just so cool. It's They're modeled after such an iconic painting. Like this, this is the kind of stuff that reaches outside of Pokemon. So like... Um, people see this and they're like, oh, wow, I know that painting. I want to buy that, you know? This this gets outside of the normal Pokemon collector because of the, the artwork and what it's based off of and recognizable characters and everything. And I'm showing you Rowlet. He's, he's probably my least favorite, but Mimikyu's in the back of there too. So, but yeah, 
this this set's really amazing. And it's kind of groundbreaking too, because the besides like Mario Pikachu, there's not really that big of a Pokemon doesn't do a lot of collaborations, I guess. Well, in Japan they do, but not in U.S. And I guess these are in, these are Japanese, so that continues with that. But with the with it being such an influential influential artwork that they collabed with, that just makes it so cool in my opinion. So we'll kind of show these five off again. And yeah, I'm definitely going to get these guys graded. Hopefully get all tens. I already have the Pikachu because I, when this first came out, I didn't think I wanted all five. And then I just made the decision and said, yeah, I want all five because I saw what was happening with the Mimikyu and everything else. But I bought the Pikachu itself with the, with a ticket stub for the, the Munch Scream painting exhibit. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually probably going to take that other picture I have and frame it with the the ticket stub just to kind of... Oh, I think it'd be cool. I think that'd be a cool little uh, thing to have put up, hang up somewhere. So, okay, guys. That's it for today. I actually have a bunch of other crap coming in the mail. Uh, I figured I've... <laughs> stockpiled enough stuff for now to create a video over and I think was fairly successful I probably rambled on for too long but hey that's how it goes um, I'll be back with another video with all the other crap I get in the mail and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe leave a comment let me know what you liked uh, if you liked any of these cards let me know which one was your favorite and uh yeah, thanks for dropping in, guys. Until next time, take it easy. Bye.